You're in the wrong part of town, Lao Wai. Go back. Go find that crap. You buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. I will be right here. Rumor has it that Hugh Darrow is going to... Back away, sir. Come out! Hey, hey, I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits to keep my mouth shut, huh? How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much taller than the man they're looking for. I thought you might see things that way. Now move it. Okay, okay, leave me alone. I won't say a word to help out.
They send you? If you're talking about your former buddies at Bell Tower, the answer is no. Wait a minute. You're Jensen, right? I heard that some of my former buddies have been looking for you. Could be. What's it to you? When a stranger sojourns with you in your land, you shall not do him wrong. You've dropped the Merc gig to become a man of the cloth? Hardly. I just have an interest in theology. And I love quoting the book. Everything in it is so... evocative. Now, tell me, are you here to stop me? That I am. Then perhaps you should reconsider. There are many of us, and only one of you. At this moment, my men and I have no quarrel with you. So you don't have to die for a war that isn't yours. I said I was here to stop you, not fight you. A friend of yours sent me to convince you to turn yourself in. Let me guess. Dr. Wing, right? He's a good man. And I know he's only trying to do what he thinks is right. But he doesn't quite grasp the whole picture here. Then why don't you enlighten me? Start by explaining why you went rogue. When an average man decides he no longer shares his employer's views and opts to leave, we say he's handing in his resignation. When men like us do the same, it's called going rogue. You can't quit a job like ours, Jensen. You know that. Yeah, okay, I can relate. But you still haven't answered my question. And what do you mean when you say you no longer share your employer's view? Back in the US, when I first got into the army, I did it because I wanted to serve my country. I believed in its values. I believed in its government. Back then, I believed that by serving my government, I was serving the people it was supposed to protect. Nice sentiment. But you don't work for the US anymore. You work for Bell Tower. Times change, Jensen. You know the story. Capitalism's final encroachment on one of the most lucrative industries in the history of mankind. War got privatized. The US military offloaded its special operations to PMCs like Blue Water Global and Bell Tower. I believe that as long as they were working for the government, they were serving the same cause. So when they offered me the chance to work on major operations at twice the pay grade, I made my jump. Why don't we just skip to when things went sour? Bell Tower outfitted us with top-notch augmentations. The kind of stuff civilians never hear about. Gave us a massive edge over the enemy. Later, seeing as my unit was one of the most successful ones, they selected us for a special program. Top secret. Experimental tech. Told us we would get to work on critical black ops for the US government. But there was a price to pay. Go on. We had to be implanted with a neural hub that manipulates memory centers in the brain. Basically controlling what you can and cannot remember. And you agreed to this? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. The augmentation was supposed to keep us safe, make sure we'd never remember details if we fell behind enemy lines. That was the main function. The second one, the one they didn't tell us about, was to lower our inhibitions. Make us more receptive to orders we'd likely disobey. Bell Tower turned us into the perfect mercs. If you were so perfect, and the hub made you so perfect, how did it fail? How come they didn't outfit the whole agency? I told you the tech was experimental. After a couple of ops, I started experiencing memory shifts, remembering bits and fragments of past operations. Slowly, I realized some of these operations couldn't logically have been orchestrated by the government, and was asked to do highly questionable things, even by professional standards. Aren't we all? Not like this, Jensen. Our services have been sold to corrupt officials in the American and Chinese governments. A combination of lies and use of the neural og made sure we complied. We were working for a shadow government. Individuals corrupted by a quest for personal power. So how'd you get out of it? I confronted the project director. He quoted Apocalypse Now. You have to have men who are moral, and at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill without feeling. 
I forced him to disconnect the hub, for me and my squad mates here. And then I killed him. I went through his files and contacts. I know who these corrupt men are now. They've turned us into killing machines, and now they'll get to experience their experiment firsthand. Listen, I have no doubt these men deserve to die. But you can't simply pass judgment on people. Nothing gives you that right. You have to turn yourself in. Play this by the book. I'm afraid that's impossible. These men I killed, and these men I'm going to kill, they have names. Families. Their deaths shouldn't be erased from my memory by some electronic software. They should haunt me. Taunt me. Until I finally meet our Lord and pay for my sins. But the men behind this, they deserve to die. And I think there's poetry in the fact that they engineered their own demise. You're a charismatic, intelligent leader, Zelazny. Don't throw that away by becoming a vigilante who will be remembered as a terrorist. Make them pay in accordance to the law, not by breaking it. It's a cute little toy you have there, Jesse. But don't waste your time. Your Cassie won't work on me. Then it looks like you leave me no choice. Let's get this over with. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. to a major malfunction. Ay, <laughs> so? So? You have found Zelazny? I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. I found him. Really, Mr. Jensen? You have been able to make him understand reason? Will he turn himself in? Unfortunately, no. I had to take him and his teammates down. It is a sad conclusion, but one that does not come as a surprise. I still believe you did a good thing, Mr. Jensen. Here is a Praxis kit. It's all I have. <laughs> 